I've been continuing work on my VR game and I've reached a point where I've gotten the floating islands in a technical working state and I've also gotten the VR possession swapping in a somewhat working state. Now, the small character will definitely need a lot of work done for when I include him into the later parts of the game but as for testing purposes this character is just a duplicate of the large except I've also gone ahead and I changed each of the capsules for these players to have their own unique collision box this allows them to allows me to specify what these objects can and cannot connect with and this will come helpful for things like playing as the giant and having those islands collide with the play with the, with the giant which shouldn't happen um or having the interactables that could be interacted and pushed around but i need to do preventions to put, prevent things like Letting the player fly, which I could try and showcase, uh, but I won't for now. Uh, anyway, so here's a quick showcase. If I load it in, uh, the frame rate may be a bit inconsistent, but that's because testing in VR is uh, very intensive to do. So what we can do is if we look up, we can notice there's a little pair of hands over there. Those are the small character. And as you can see, he is walking on a floating island. Uh, if I hit B, no, A on the right controller, I'm now the smaller entity, as you can see from here. Now, again, like I mentioned, there's issues with being the smaller character. As for instance, you can see the clipping plane is severely bad. And his movement is also very messed up. But you can somewhat see that if I press the button, he is now there. If I go ahead and I try moving a bit closer to... The island. Oop. You can see now that when I walk through it, I pass through. Of course, my hands still interact with such. The whole point of it should be, by the end result, that the player can grab this, move it around, and once you let go, it stays still. But still allows the small character to stand on it. Again, I need to do a lot more testing to get this working perfectly, but for now it works well enough for the prototype. One bonus little addition that I didn't showcase in my video, but I had done at the time, was that I also made sure that my um, movement wasn't just restricted to locomotive because the teleporting still existed in some way. So I went ahead and readjusted the key binding so that now if you hold it down, you can see that we can still utilize the teleporting that the base project comes with while also being able to still move around. Now, I will be doing other things like increasing the strength of this arm connection so we're not going to be having this weird issue where when we move it's so far away and other general issues that I'll need to be fixing but in terms of getting prototypes sorted out I'd say that this is going incredibly well anyway I'd say that'd be all for uh, today's video and I'll update again when I've got some big major stuff to show